talk about. So on Friday, you tweeted that this upcoming episode was the hardest episode you've ever worked on in television. What can we expect? Well, when I got the script, I was like... ...to ask you about the journey that we are going to see with your character. I, I do have to say also, like, this season has stepped it up. Like, the show's always great, but... It's a unique say. season. I know. It's really, really. I really wondered how they were going to do it. Yeah, he's, he's trying to avoid <laughs> and it. You're gonna keep I mean, can you, if, if you can't talk about it, you can't talk. A little tease, a little taste. Um, well, from where he is. Yeah. Going for him now. Do you do you prefer playing good or bad? Because he's like he's like he's a good guy this time around. You know, it's funny. I had an acting teacher once uh, tell me. All right. Well, we have something else that's really special to talk about. You're going to be developing a new skill this summer. You're making your Broadway debut in The Kite Runner. Tell us all about that. Um. So awesome. uh, move and so forth and sort of let that dream go. And my other dream was to do a, like a quality TV show. And here I am. I mean, it's like really so you're going to make us cry. Believe, um, <laughs> I'm doing it. for you congratulations we can't wait to see you in that we can't wait to see you in the next episode because all right we're at the edge of our seats yeah 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 all good right stuff, good stuff yeah amir great to see you well you can catch the blacklist friday at 8 p.m on nbc thank oh. you amir thank we'll be right you, back thank you. i cannot wait for broadway congratulations catch the blacklist friday at 8 p.m on nbc thank oh. you amir thank we'll be right you, back thank you I cannot wait for Broadway. Congratulations. Catch the blacklist Friday at 8 p.m. on NBC. Thank oh, you, Amir. Thank we'll be right you, back. Thank you. I cannot wait for Broadway. Congratulations. Love her. We love, love her, her so yes. much. I think I was yes. born here. Yeah. Hey, we'll, we'll take that. But we have to talk about your Mother's Day performance that you have coming up. I know it's not your first time at City Wine. I think you were there for your 80th birthday. 80th birthday. Matter of fact, I was here with her. To celebrate. In her 80s. I know, I know. I'm blown away. And the City Wine, is, it has now become like my home. There was a club mother and for the youngest mother. Also, I have a medley that I put together just for the mothers. It's a, a, a <laughs> you don't just want to go to lunch <laughs> on Keeping it real over here. Love right Keeping there. it real. I want to ask you about John Batiste. I know that you said that you wanted to record mm. something with him. I just saw him the other night at the Met Gala. Like, uh, can, can we just, if he is watching, if we can get this out to him, can we just like make a case here? Because we would listen, love to see this. I found, I worked with his grandfather. Wow. In London. Have yes. yes. Heading into the universe. Um, as an artist that you did get to work with, Ronnie Spector, who passed away earlier this year. He yes. had his lovely tribute in Rolling Stone. Can we hear you covering any of her songs in the future? Uh, not yet. But I will be because I did all the background. See the problem. So great to see you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy, happy Mother's Day. Are you guys mothers? Yes. I am. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy a dog mom. Dog mom. Okay. <laughs> My all kids right. act like dogs. So, you know. You know. Well, Same thing. Cat. Same thing. Coming up, uh, it's a mysterious new show starring. Mother's Day. See the problem. So great to see you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy, happy Mother's Day. Are you guys mothers? Yes. I am. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy a dog mom. Dog mom. Okay. <laughs> My all kids right. act like dogs. You know. You know. Same thing. Cat. Coming up, it's a mysterious new show starring.